Nissan! What are you doing? I really didn't want to make this video, guys. I really like Nissan. Um, bit of background. I have owned a few Nissan sports cars. Um, they're, they're Fair Lady Z, the, the, the Z line of cars. I think they're amazing. Um, I'm, a, I'm a huge Nissan fan. And if, if anyone didn't know, they are actually hugely in the shit right now. Um, and they're developing new sports cars to try and like top up their line and really like get back into the, the game. And this is this is such a shame. Like I re I I don't want to make this video. I don't want to make it. I'm it's so bad. Um, basically, Captain Marvel, Brie Larson, they Nissan. What the fuck are you doing? Nissan hired Brie Larson to do a commercial, right? And I can't remember. The last time I saw a Nissan commercial, a lot of people said Rogue One, because I think I spoke spoke about this on Twitter, um, and someone said Rogue One, but I don't think they were out in the UK. I could be wrong. Um, and they're really trying to, like, rebrand themselves. Oh, Nissan. Embrace the Japanese. Embrace the JDM in you. Don't embrace this, this trollop. Embrace the JDM. Go full sports car. You know, you've, you've literally met... A lot of people hate Nissan, right? And if you hate Nissan... You don't know shit about cars because they have literally made some of the best cars in history. R R34 Skyline, R32 Skyline, GTRs, R35, uh, just GTR. The Datsun 240Z, yes, they're the same. Datsun and Nissan, they're the same. Uh, the, the the Datsun Sunny pickup truck, epic car, super cool. Um, 300ZX, 370Z, my car. They are epic. They are so, so good. And they've been going through such a hard time recently because one of their bosses just... Um, uh, he, he, he had to flee the flee Japan um, in a box. And now he's he's facing like extradition, but no one will extradite him. He's, he's embezzled millions, hundreds of millions of dollars or some nonsense like that. And he's drove Nissan into the ground. Uh, he, he is the direct reason Nissan has cheaped out on quality. So a lot of people say, well, Nissan, really cheap looking cars and all this. That twat is the reason. Um, I don't want to make this video. <laughs> Basically, they made a really crap commercial and it is really bad. So we're going to watch it together. Um, and it is a terrible commercial. I hate it. I don't know what they're doing. It's good to see Nissan trying again. But whoa, did you do the wrong thing here, guys. So let, let's check it out. So I'm gonna hold on promoting you this quarter. Cool? Drop the taco, get in the car. Does this Sentra feel like a compromise to you? Hey, what? The handling, it's good, right? No compromise there. Nope. Watch this. Come on, brake, brake, brake. Rear automatic braking. So if this Nissan Sentra isn't gonna compromise, why should you? You're right. Girl. The all new Nissan Sentra with more standard safety features than any other car in its class. Uh, uh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it so much. Uh, I hate it. How are you doing, Nissan? And yes, I know a lot of people go, why'd you, why'd you call it Nissan? It's Nissan. We don't call it Nissan over here uh, in the UK. It's not Nissan. It's Nissan. I mean, what what is this? It's 30 seconds long. What is this? So I'm going to hold on promoting you this quarter. Cool? It's... What message are you trying to send out, Nissan? What is, what is the message here? What is the message? Like, seriously, what is the message? And it's such a shame, right? Because then... This is Gillette, like this is the Gillette advert, but on a, and it is a sm is a much smaller scale, and I, and I I've openly I'm not shouting now, and I've openly said my bias here because I really do love Nissan, but it's not the same scale as the Gillette advert. Like, of course it's not. That was like a two and a half. Any any fucking idiot will, will you know be able to see some logical sense here. The Gillette advert was like two minutes long of constant barrage of what makes a man a man and trying to belittle men and all this other kind of crap. This is an, an intro, and it and it's what it's three seconds, right? And then the problem is, is that it's a shitty intro of three seconds, and then you you've put in 
a horrendous person that no one likes. Brie Larson, soft cheese Larson. And um, and yeah, they, they face the backlash. Right? The commercial would receive 3,600 downvotes uh, and only 318 upvotes. And then Nissan turned the comments off. And then this this is the other thing, which I really hate as well, right? In a follow-up video, Larson would make it clear that the commercial is all about the wokeness. <sighs> Wasn't she in an Audi advert? Nissan, stop hiring! What are you doing? She was in an Audi advert. Ah, oh, it, it really makes me... Nissan, you have made some of the best sports cars in the world. RB26, mate. I mean, come on. You've made some of the the best vehicles in the world. And you're putting this bitch in your adverts. Just make make a video. Make the Sentra like it's a sports car. I mean, it's not hard. God. Hello, I'm Brie Larson, and I am on the set of a commercial for the Nissan Sentra. It's Nissan! Ah! <laughs> So one of our first conversations, we introduced the idea of no compromises, and that's what we felt was important about the Sentra. You don't have to compromise styling or performance. You can get it all in this amazing package. What was it about the idea of no compromises that resonated with you? The fact that I was pitched this concept that on the surface, just looking at the ad itself, that it is about sisterhood. It's a car! Yep. Pumping each other up, community, yep. and allowing each other to have the opportunity to believe in ourselves it's a car sell the car do you know what this is ladies and gents and you're gonna hate me for this this is the fucking americans this is an american advert did you know that it's you it's your bloody americans you've done this you're the reason why this is gonna tank and no of course it's not all americans before you will hate me and downvote my video but this is this what you're not going to see this in Japan. This is an American advert, and it's this fucking woke train out there. Bloody Nissan USA, you suck dick. You really do. Because that really feels like the first step with all of this. It's like you can't be what you can't see, and so I think actually following someone's journey in disbelief into belief is is, is a powerful image. Was there a pivotal moment? Or it's her. This is it. Head of whatever at Woke Nissan USA. You stupid tart. Or event in your life that kind of where you transitioned into this idea of no compromise. There was a moment where I remember going in on my 10,000th audition, going in and being prepared and having what I felt like was all the credentials that I needed. And a guy on the other side of the table give me a bad note. And I remember walking out being like, I don't want to be on the wrong side of the table anymore. I want to be part of the conversation. Like, I don't want to feel this distance, you yeah. know? Yeah. I want to be communicated with, not to. So you and I both work in heavily male-dominated industries. And you're bombing it right now, love. You deserve all the hate you're going to get in this male-dominated industry of presumably Nissan's PR. You suck. Was that something that you were aware of when you first started out? And you've got a big ear. And if so, did you start to change your approach um, in order to address that? You know, I started so young. I started when I was seven or eight, so there wasn't, I didn't have that differentiation between me and anything else, really. <laughs> but it's on. Uh -huh. You get older and having a just so much dedicated time in one field that you start to look around and go, wait, why am I the only one like me? What? You're so full of yourself. And it's now become my passion, not just for the representation on screen, but to also feel like I'm on a set that reflects the world that I live in. And also the impact that you can have from that. For sure. I mean, gosh. I mean, that's the goal. It's You never know what the impact will be, but I have good intentions. It's, it's a... I mean, am I... Am I... Am I... Am I missing the point? It's a car advert. Oh my God. Just sell the fucking car. Nissan, just sell the fucking car. I tell you what, Nissan, if you brought out tomorrow, yeah, the 240Z again, 
It would sell like fucking hotcakes. I know. Shocking. If you brought out the R34 Skyline Bayside Blue, it would sell like hotcakes. Do you know how much they go for now? A Datsun 240Z in the UK, minimum, minimum, in reasonable good condition, right? Not, not a resto mod, not needing to be restored. Minimum, in reasonable condition, about 30 grand. Fucking, what are you doing? Just sell a fucking car. This, this is the American part of Nissan. This is what it is. I bet is it is it Nissan USA? It's Nissan USA. I told you it's Nissan USA. <laughs> if you were to give any advice to your younger self, what would it be? Kill I yourself. This question. I mean, it's kind of twofold. It's just like, first of all, stress less because you're exactly where you need to be. Yeah. And it's so hard, and I still struggle with that. I still, I still have a hard time. But as much as we can, just believe and and not fight a reality. Yeah. And I just think the universe is very funny, and sometimes it just takes the takes it a couple years to get to the punchline. Yeah. But she what are you talking it, about, it takes mate? Time, but you have to trust that it will get there. Yeah, it's the idea that it's not about this perfect destination. It's actually about what happens along the way. I can't and listen my to job this. And the thing that I love is depicting the human experience. And I can't imagine if that experience would have been cut short earlier. And it's kind of amazing how the universe lets you know that. And Fuck off. Nissan, stop it. Stop sucking this work dick. Stop it. You sell cars. You make the best cars. I love Nissan. What? I didn't want to make this video, and I hate myself for doing it. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I hate it! Make some good cars, Nissan. Sell the car, right? The front end of the Sentra is is good. Like, it's a good-looking car. The front end of the Sentra looks good, right? It doesn't look bad at all. It looks... Um, it, it's very much in line with everything that they've been uh, doing with their Nismo line of cars recently, right? That is a good-looking front end to a car. That's a good looking front end. It's got the Nismo uh, scoops at the lower end of the grill. You've got the, the V-Motion grill. That's what they call it. It looks great. You've got air intakes. And that's a good looking car. Just stuck a, stick a fucking turbo on it. Sell it. It'll go. Like hotcakes, mate. I hate you so much. But I also love you. I don't know what you're doing. It's Nissan USA. With that shadow of a doubt. Fire that. Oh. I can't. Anyway, I'm done. I'm done.